documentary to me is, I gotta think about this one. I don't wanna sound stupid. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what do I think a documentary is? Well, um, it's a touchy subject, really. Uh, there's so many different answers, and anything I say, there's gonna be exceptions to it, you know? It's like asking what feminism is. Everyone has a completely def different definition of what they think it is, because a lot of it is based on personal experience, what you've seen. I find it's anything that documents something. Uh, that sounds really standard, but uh, every, everything, that, everything that captures something that's, that uh, is supposed to be something is documentary. I know that's a terrible way of putting it. People that you're, you're filming, they're not, you're not trying to make them be somebody else. They're not trying to be somebody else. They probably will be because you have a camera in their face and they're going to perform. But that little bit of performance is taking you away from documentary. But you, well, your goal, I think, is to try, and, to try and get that person doing natural things. You're surveying it through the lens and you're, and you're offering your own perspective on uh, reality. So I guess in that sense, you're, you're interpreting reality um, through your own eyes and you have your own vision of how you see reality, if that makes sense. I don't know if it sounds right in my head. I'm definitely more of a fiction man, but you know, I have had the opinion at some points that documentary can help you become a better fiction uh, storyteller because you have to create a story out of nothing. It's giving you the opportunity to choose your own adventure, so to speak, and follow through on it. In fiction, you have to suspend your disbelief, no matter how, you know, based on a true story it is, or, or whatever it is. Uh, there has to be, there's a certain distance from the actual events. When you're in the middle of a production, it's changing, constantly changing. And it adds a certain excitement level to it. Um, when you're doing fiction, you go in with your storyboards, you know where you're going to shoot. Um, but with documentary, uh, for a lot, of, uh, a lot of documentaries anyways. You, you're in there with the, in the action, you have your camera, you may not know exactly what you're gonna shoot. It usually takes you outside of your comfort zone from even just watching them. Um, whereas narrative movies, you know, you're essentially getting the same things over and over again. Which is fun, because you can play with it's been already be, what's already been done, but with documentary, you're always hopefully learning new things by making them or learning new things by watching them. You know, in fiction, it seems there's one or two ways about going about things. You know, there's genres and people have expectations of what a film should look like in a certain genre, but with documentary, it's real and everybody's offering their own unique twist on it. It can be handled like a dramatic genre almost with that dramatic tone. It can be handled with a comedic tone. It can be handled with a very suspenseful tone. So in a way, it's a lot like fiction in the way that it can be executed, but ultimately what it's about is what the real core of documentary is. Whether it's uh, an event, uh, a theme, or something, but something that's, that's, that's true to life. Documentary is not reality, <laughs> but it's an attempt to catch reality. Fleeting reality. There, that's my answer. Excuse me. <laughs> I would not quite say that I had the passion for a doc. Okay. Sure. So what was it again? Sorry, where were I? I think that's what it is to me. <laughs> my favorite color is burnt umber. <laughs> one of my top three.